and welcome to my pit of despair. <laughs> no, but actually, if you can even find me in here, I am going through my garage today. I walked out here and immediately got discouraged. That's where we're at, okay? Um, not great. Things are not great out here. This is all from when I moved most recently and you can see none of it's been dealt with. Also, it wasn't even that recent. It was definitely like eight months ago. So, yeah. I have been so overwhelmed by this room for so long at this point, but there is a huge yard sale that's happening in my area this weekend. And so basically I'm forcing myself to go through everything that I possibly can by Saturday and try to put as much stuff out there and anything that I don't sell is gonna get donated pretty much. So there is some of this stuff that I'm gonna have to keep, but the vast majority of it is stuff that I probably don't need. I haven't been out here in literally months. So I, well, I forget what's out here. I really don't know. Come along with me. Um, basically my strategy for right now, I'm gonna try to do this so that you can actually see what's happening. I mean, it's just complete chaos. But basically my strategy for right now is just going through, like I have no idea, I don't even know whose this is. So stuff that is not mine is obviously gonna go in a separate pile. I'm going to, probably just start trying to like, I don't know, separate things into piles. That's really all I have right now. <laughs> I'm literally like, oh my God, why? Why with the stuff? Why do I buy things? Why? It's just too much. It's too much. One thing at a time, one thing at a time. Okay, so this is stuff I know. This is stuff I know, oh my gosh. This is stuff I know I'm decluttering because um, this was all actually from my other decluttering video, if you want to check that out. I decluttered 500 items in a month and that was actually really helpful. And I had like a nice strategy and everything was great. Right now it's honestly, I have no strategy. No strategy and I'm just gonna go through stuff. Whatever I find getting separated out with piles. This is probably not all that engaging, huh? Oh my god! <sighs> Why am I the way that I am? Minor progress. <laughs> I did like two things and... Okay, I'm done! Just kidding! Not even close. So cute. Okay, so I decided I'm actually gonna put. I don't know if you can see me at all over here. I'll take you with me. Um, so there's like this blank area. Why do I have this? Who even is this? Mel Gibson? This is what I'm talking about. Anyway, um, I made a space over here. <laughs> with Mel, if that's who that is. I made a space over here. This was a mostly blank table. Um, so this is where I'm putting all of my, all of my like stuff to take to sell. And I have seriously like really random stuff in here. I have like some fall decor, which now that I'm looking at it, I already want to keep. Um, Look how cute this pumpkin is. She's so cute. But am I gonna use it really? No. Do I need it? No. Back in the bin. Oh, there are two. Yeah, like this kind of stuff. Like I'm just literally taking all this. I have like really cute antique teapots in here. Like, honestly, very adorable. Oh my God, I hate that I'm already trying to keep this stuff. I hate that about me. But this is actually really cute and I've been looking for a teapot, but I also felt like I wanted a teapot like set. So I don't know if I wanna keep this or not. I'm gonna put it in the maybe. 
We'll put it in the maybe. The rest of this, I'm not letting myself keep. There's another teapot in there. These like, all a lot of seasonal stuff. I said in my other video, I'm trying really hard to get rid of like a lot of the seasonal decor and stuff. So it's leaving. A literally completely unopened set. This is also part of my issue is I have a tendency to take too much free stuff too, which like I feel grateful that I have people that are willing to like give me items and stuff for free, but I didn't need this. I already had a set. Why did I take it? I don't know. It's a great question. Here's another thing I found. Actually very cute. This is leaving. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. I don't know how people feel about taking pillows from other people. I feel like it's fine. I'm safe. I'm safe, but like, I don't know if people do that. Had this for a million years. This is leaving. Don't need it. Maybe this isn't as daunting as I thought. I mean, it's definitely still pretty bad, but um, there was a lot more like big stuff in here than I thought there was. Like, so that's good. That's a good thing. This is one of those little fake piggy banks. <laughs> Coins. Oh my God. Woo! It's on. I think I'm keeping the teapot. I keep looking at it. I think I'm gonna keep her. She's so cute. I wanna have a tea party. Okay, so this is just extra kitchen stuff that I apparently have survived without. Yeah, I like these are my mason jars. Oh, I have been looking for this. It's just totally, totally keep. Obviously, any clothing or anything that I'm finding out here today, um, I will be like washing thoroughly and disinfecting in every way possible. So I'm just gonna put it in that bin for now that I found because it's gonna have to be thoroughly washed anyway. Like so much of my stuff, it's things that I liked for a minute and I feel like my personality just changes too quickly. And I, <laughs> I have to stop like trying on personalities like most people try on clothes um, because I just have the most random assortment assortments of things that it's like, why would I ever want this? But you know, Leah of two years ago was obsessed with it. So that bin was a lot again of seasonal decor. Um, I had a lot of like random fall stuff in there. So that actually works out really good. I'm hoping to kind of set up a whole little fall decor section because I know obviously it's we're in August right now. So a lot of people are gonna be starting to really get into their fall spirit. So it's actually probably a really good time for that right now. Oh, another thing actually, now that I'm going through this, uh, declutter tip of the day make sure that you remember to like clean out any bags or anything that you're selling. Make sure that you check every single pocket because you never know what might be in there. Um, I have definitely almost given away things I didn't necessarily want to get rid of uh, on accident by not checking thoroughly. So if you're gonna give away any bags or anything like that, make sure that you're checking everything. Oh, swimsuits. Uh oh, that's where all those were. A lot of like, just pajamas and stuff that I totally did not think were out here. Most of these I will probably honestly be giving away because if I have lived this long without them already, probably don't need them. Oh yeah. Okay, some of these I'm keeping because I actually love these and I haven't had them forever. Whoa, nice. Why am I the way that I am? Quest continues. I found another bin of clothing. This looks like it's mostly hats and stuff. Good to know, that's where these have been. I'm finding so many things. That's where that went! Dude, I almost bought another one of these too. This was like this really nice exercise top and I literally could not find it anywhere. Well, it was in the garage for eight months. Surprise, surprise! I hate it! Why with all of the stuff? 
I think my camera's already about to die, so I should probably stop for now, but I actually will say I've already gotten a decent amount done. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm obviously going to keep going and I will get a after shot, um, but I have a decent start and it was actually not as overwhelming as I thought. I think maybe because, you know, sometimes when you try to make things more fun or like do something like for me filming this content, the idea that somebody else might do this with me and like maybe this video would inspire you to do something, like it definitely does make me feel more motivated. So I feel like really just finding whatever does motivate you um, and finally gets you to just tackle this stuff. And also the other thing too, it's like most of the time it feels so overwhelming, but once you just start, like it's actually not as bad as you think that it is. So. Anyway, I'll be back whenever I am finished for the day. Um, I'll show you the progress that I made. Okay, y'all, we're back. I actually feel like I got a lot done. I know it doesn't look like it, but there's actually a lot better organization. I know like what everything is now, so I'll take you real quick on a tour. So. All of this got separated, that stuff that my boyfriend has to go through. This is all like the keep pile. So this is honestly all just like kitchen stuff that I'm not using right now, but I'm not gonna get rid of because I will use it eventually um, whenever we move out. The bikes are there. I moved all this stuff in that space, went through all of that, got all of that sorted, threw away all this trash. There was tons of trash in the front here, so I got rid of that. Take a walk over to my pile of getting rid of stuff. There's my, my guy again, whoever he is. Okay, so I did decide to get rid of the teapot. I'm just not gonna use it. Um, but a ton of different stuff here. I went through a lot of the kitchen like supplies. You'll see a lot of these like canisters. I was really on a, on a like canister kick for a while there. I just felt like I needed a million bins and things, probably because I had so much stuff, shocker. Um, but yeah, so there's pretty much all of that. And then I also do have this entire bin as well, but I actually feel really good about it. That's today's declutter with me. I tackled a good portion of the garage today. I'm honestly exhausted. Um, so I'm definitely done for the day but I do feel like I got a lot done. I have everything prepped and ready to go for the garage sale. So I guess I'll keep you posted on how well that goes. I'm not entirely optimistic that I'm going to make much money or that a lot of these things are even gonna sell. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous about how much time I'm probably gonna spend sitting out there and for like what kind of money, but whatever. I'd rather at least use this as a, a motivator to get this stuff out of here. And then um, I have decided that whatever does not sell is just getting donated. So I refuse to bring it back into the house, back into the home. It's gonna go somewhere else. Um, so I'm just at the end of the day excited to be rid of all of this stuff. And so one step closer to not being constantly overwhelmed by all of my consumption choices. I think that's all from me for now. My name is Leah, and if you have any interest in minimalism, money, mindset, what else do I talk about? If you had fun with me today, please give me a like. I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well. And let me know in the comments if you've started any decluttering, if your garage is also terrifying, um, or anything else you'd like to talk to me about. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I wish you luck if you are embarking on your own decluttering journey.